What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you that you might find quite interesting. Basically, I have a wallpaper over here and say that I've lost the original file for it, yet I want to save this wallpaper somewhere, how exactly do I get the original file back from my desktop background? Well, it's actually pretty simple. In the description down below is a little line of text that you'll need to go ahead and copy. Hold start and press R to bring up this little run dialog box. In here, we'll be entering percentage app data, percentage, backslash Microsoft, backslash Windows, backslash themes. As such, this is in the description down below. Hit OK and a new folder will open. Then we'll have transcoded wallpaper. If you don't see anything in this file, at the very top, go to view and make sure file name extensions is checked as well as hidden items. Assuming that those are both checked, we'll see transcoded wallpaper, which is just a file. What we'll do is we'll copy it and paste it in the same folder, though of course you can put this elsewhere. Then we'll rename our copy and we'll replace the copy section with .png, .jpeg, etc, etc. Usually .png will work the best. Open it up with something like Windows Photo Viewer and there we have our original background and its quality that's set on my desktop background. If this image was originally, say, 8K and it got crashed down to 1080p, I'd think this file over here would be 1080p as it is transcoded. Though I may be entirely wrong and it may be the original one that you're pulling out. Then your next question is, inside of the settings window, we can in fact set different wallpapers for different screens. If I right click on my previous wallpapers, you can see set for monitor one, this one over here, my left monitor and my right monitor. If I set the left one to this and my right one to this over here, then both of the screens to the side of this one have changed. Where exactly do those files go? Well, if we have a look back at this themes file, we'll see transcoded 000 and 001. These two are the wallpapers to the side of my original one. If I were to go ahead and copy these two files as we did before and replace the hyphen copy with .png, same with the next one, we can go ahead and open them both up and we'll see this is the one on my left, this is the one on my right, and this is the one in the center. So you can in fact pull back all of the other wallpapers on all of your screens using this simple method. I would highly recommend copying these files first instead of just moving them out of this folder as you may actually cause instability on Windows, though copying these files and leaving the original is probably more than safe enough. Then of course you can take them to a new folder on your desktop or somewhere else, paste them in, and we'll have them wherever we put them. Then we can go ahead and close out of this themes folder and we're basically done. However, of course, if you found yourself very confused at the beginning of this video and you in fact don't have these files over here, then there may be another folder in this themes folder called cached files as such. And inside of here should be the files that we're gonna rename. Though of course, if you got this far in the tutorial, then you've probably already gone into that folder. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technoba here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video helped you and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.